Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. So today I decided to share this look with you guys. I would say this look is exactly a natural look, but this is like my go-to glam. This is the glam I'll just reach out for whenever I want to get ready. And it's so quick, it's so easy, there's nothing to it, and it goes with any any outfit I wear, it goes with it. So I decided to just film that for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a two-part video, by the way. I know this look is like an Instagram-friendly look, so I mean, it's only right. It's only right I show you guys how I take my selfies and how I edit them using Insta size. It's very easy. I'm going to leave the link down below. I think you have a free one month subscription where you click the link because you know I'm the plug like always. <laughs> so yeah. So the second part of this video is going to be showing you guys how I take my selfies, the angles, my tricks, my tips, everything I'm going to be showing you guys. So just stay tuned to the end to see how that works. If you're not following me on my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Snapchat, I don't know what you're waiting for. Make sure you follow, make sure you click the bell like button down below so you have notifications every time I post a video. Yeah, let's get right into the video. Well, hello there. So I'm going to be starting off with my brows as usual. I don't know why people do their brows after their makeup. I just don't know. But I don't judge though because like my makeup is weird sometimes too. But anyway, I'm using my MAC Brow Pencil in Spike. I really, really love this pencil because it kind of gives me that natural. Not too natural because I can't really do so much natural things with my brows because they are too full anyway i'm cleaning it up with my technique concealer in light to medium just the usual routine you know cleaning up the bottom and the top and blending it out yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just brushing the hairs in place. I don't really do too much with my brows anymore. I just, you know, do the normal. However it turns out, I go with it. I'm going in with my Pond's Moisturizing Primer. And this is supposed to take oil away. It's oily, skin-friendly, apparently. And I think it is because it actually works. I rub this all over my face. And I just recently started using this product. I'm going in with my Becca Matte Ever Matte poreless perfecting perfector i just warmed it up with my fingers and i'm applying that all over my face because i don't want to be oily i don't know about you but i don't like being oily when i have makeup on so yeah now for my foundation i'm mixing in the maybelline super stay foundation and i'm mixing in a little bit of my kat von d foundation lucky tattoo you guys know that's full extra extra full coverage so i don't like to use too much anymore because if you can't tell if you cannot tell my skin is getting better so like i don't really mean like needing too much cover and shit like <laughs> no so yeah i'm just rubbing that all over my face as usual and blending it out For concealer, I'm using my all-time fave, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. You just This concealer is just right for any type of foundation you use. I just love it. I've, I've loved it for, from time. Okay? So, yeah, I'm just applying a whole lot to my face. I like using a whole lot of concealer. I'm using the CC Glam Orange Blossom Water. I'm just spraying my brush. It helps my concealer blend in better whenever I spray my brush. And that water is just really really refreshing so i like to you know do that a lot so yeah i'm going in just to blend it out i feel like blending is so satisfying to watch so i'm just going to let you guys watch okay enjoy angelina angelina you the cool in my temperature if you call i go come deliver i no go fall in your hand in ever so now me you could I know you already thought that concealer was too much, but I'm still going to apply a little more because that's just how I am. Oh, I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to do that anyway because that's how I am. So yeah, that was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 35 and I'm just applying that and blending everything in. I'm just going in with a makeup sponge like a pad just to tap 
all over this helps me remove much oil from my face from the foundation and the concealer before i go in to set it i'm setting it with my technique loose powder i really really like this powder it just does it i mean it's not as flawless as i would say my laura mercier is you know that's another level but yeah i set my eyes as well because my concealer i always take it up to my eyes whenever i'm doing it so i don't have to do too much to my eyes i'm going in with my covergirl bronzer in ebony you guys know every almost every black girl owns this i'm going to apply that all over my eyes i really like the warm look it gives and it's not doing too much it's just so easy now using the same powder i'm going to be mixing it with my milani baked powder in earth glow and i'm just going to snatch my cheekbones my forehead and then blend everything together just so i'm snatched you know contour is good for your soul so yeah i like to bake now recently because i feel like it just gives me a more flawless under eye and you know that look where you want to look beat i really wanted that look so that's why i baked i'm going in with my artist couture this trick just rubbing it all over my eyelids just does like some shimmery magical wonders to your eyes and you're not doing too much it just it's just so nice i don't know ever since i started doing this i've been doing this all the time of course i'm going to go in to highlight my brow bone because like who doesn't want a popping brow bone i do i don't know about you but yeah i'm going to go ahead and blend that out listen i'm using like the same brush for everything anyway i'm applying my mascara this is the benefits they are real mascara my favorite and then i go ahead to act like i'm bougie trying to apply my lashes with my tweezers when i know i don't know how to use tweezers for anything so yeah i go in with my fingers as usual i'm using hair glue i know you guys said it's not good but i mean i'm tired of all these other glues that just don't hold so yeah i just resort to hair glue now i'm dusting off my excess powder and blending everything in with my translucent powder by technique and and also going in with my all-time blush my Zaron blush this is like the only blush blush I own right now I'm going in with some more of that CC glam orange blossom water this is replacing my fix plus oh I love it you guys it's so nice if it, it feels like I'm spraying vitamin C on my face I mean it is orange so I mean it only makes sense but it's so refreshing I love it it also removes that powdery look and just gives you a refreshing dewy look to your makeup get you a friend that gasses you the way mine does anyway i'm applying this artist couture highlighter in conceited i'm also applying it to my cheeks i just applied it to my inner tear duct i'm applying it to my whole face now just so i can glow watch out for me i'm about to yeah watch out for me i'm about to glow I sorry, I sorry, so you like I do. I sorry, I surrender, so you like I do. I sorry. Now I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite lip combos. That's the Tails Cosmetics Gold Coast and Josie. So I'm just going in with Gold Coast first. It's a really nice ready brown. I really, really love it. I love, love, love how dark it is. It's just a really nice rich brown. I apply that to the outer part of my lips and then go in with Josie to the middle part and blend it in. And then I go in with my two MAC lip glosses. The first being the MAC lip gloss in spite and I love this it just gives me the buttery look and to finish I use the MAC lip glass in clear that's just the clear one and this just gives me the shine like you know you you, you know Yes, yeah, so I finished the whole look up with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and this just makes sure my makeup doesn't transfer. I was feeling myself while doing this. So I'm just going to do that and then we head to the next part of the video. Okay, so I basically 
it in front of my light and also my natural light so I have my door and my window open and a ring light in front of me so I'm just taking selfies from all angles I like to go from down below and up and side and everywhere just taking I take like 50 I take like 100 so the key is to take a whole bunch so you can have favorites to use I still use my front camera because I'm so, I'm just too impatient for using the back camera so I go in select the ones I like favorite them and I think this is the picture I'm going to be working with today so I go into the insta size app I just open it up you can see my profile is right there I've edited some pictures already using this you can see my bomb ass slate you follow me on Instagram if you're not following me like what you guys look at these pictures I'm serving what what that add button you want to select your picture the one you favorited you want to choose your format I use the original format you click the next then you go down there with the two lines it has the exposure contrast locks brightness it has different different things you can use to just tug on your photos so the first thing I go in is with the sharpness just to make sure my picture looks crisp yes yeah, so I put the sharpness to about six then I go into the brightness and I reduce that to minus five because I don't like my pictures too bright then I go into the locks and I also put that down to minus five for just to give it a faded look so it's not too serious I don't know if you understand you have to click the tick to confirm your edit I go into saturation increase it to four and then that's about it for editing that so I go into the face icon I click on the acne I zoom into the photo this is just going to be a tool to help me erase imperfections or whatever so yeah I go into my right eye as you can see my powder looks weird there so I just clean that up a little and then my forehead I erase those spots there just a little you don't want to go too crazy with this if not your picture is going to look fake so yeah you take that when you're done I go into whiten now this part is so important for your feed I go in and I whiten the edges as you can see the edges of the photo where the arrow is showing it really really helps your feed look nice and uniform so I go in I whiten the background you can do this a whole lot of times as much as you want but I just did it once because it's a selfie as you can see the red part is showing you where it was done yeah so I go ahead and confirm that edit this app also has texts but I'm not using that so I just click done I click on the same picture the same format click done again now we have the filters as you can see it has so many filters I really really love this part of the app and when you click the link for the trial you get access to every single one of them I'm showing you my favorite which is batch I put it down to about 22 I don't do too much it just makes my picture look really really sexy and that's it I'm just showing you what else you can do with this app you can put backgrounds with photos you can blur your backgrounds you can use some edits they have some layouts like Beyonce feel yourself don't need any background so I'm just going to save the photo and upload that's about it don't forget to like share subscribe I'm showing you guys the before and after it's nothing too crazy but it does something for me I'll see you guys in my next video Whenever your heart is broken.